Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I know this is a couple of days late, but we have the Season 1 edition to Modern Warfare. The little trailer that we saw, uh, you've probably already seen if you've logged into Modern Warfare. Recently, if you haven't, go ahead. It's a uh, little cutscene showing off the crash map, which is a map from Call of Duty 4, uh, or Modern Warfare, whatever you'd like to say. Uh, very iconic map, uh, I loved it so much back then, I loved it in Modern Warfare Remastered, I'm sure I'm going to love it in uh, in this game. But I'm going to talk about the Battle Pass and my personal opinion on it, this is literally my first time I've seen it, I've had a quick scroll through. You have to pay for the Battle Pass, there is free items like you can see, there is a weapon variant of, I don't even know what gun that is. I have no idea what gun that is. But anyway, I think it might be the M4A1. I'm looking at it, I think it's the M4A1. But, uh, we have the free items which aren't too great. Obviously, we've got all these items that you have to pay for in between them, like XP, uh, wet, uh, knives, the moving uh, calling cards, the animated calling cards. Uh, the free items do, don't seem to be great at all. Uh, having a quick scroll through them now. You actually have to pay for this. I've not actually paid for it just yet, so I'm not sure how, how, how much it is. I'm gonna buy it in just a second. I'll, you know, I'll show you me buying it and that. Um, but the free items seem absolutely awful. I mean, what is this sticker? It's a Semtex weapon uh, charm. I mean, come on, awful. It's probably it's it's, it's a really awful battle pass in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I get this is the first one, but, but I mean, we've waited a long, long time for it. I mean, that uh, weapon variant of what I believe is the. Get the name of the sniper, the over bolt action sniper. The first one, I think, is I want to say HDR, but I could be incredibly wrong there. Um, but it looks awful, the content is awful. I mean, it's free cod points, 100 cod points, which I mean, is it good? Hopefully, if you can reach max rank on the battle pass, it'll give you enough cod points that you earn through it to buy it again. So then you can only do that, you can do a one time purchase. So basically, you unlock. Um, you buy it once and you can if you manage to grind and reach my rank again, you can buy it again for essentially free. Um, obviously you put the hours in. So then you should deserve it. Um, but apart from that, there's not a deal of good items. I mean, the most of the, well there is good items, like this, uh, this um, which I presume I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it looks like it, but it looks a pretty awesome uh, weapon variant. Uh, it's only going to be aesthetic, I presume. I'm not 100% sure. But it is what it is, as you can see I'm current tier 0, the battle pass is inaccurate, I've not purchased it. Um, but the free items, if, you don't, if, you know, if you've if you not got the money to buy this thing, or you don't play it as much, and you're not bothered about buying it, then really, you can't really unlock anything anyway. We've got the store, we've got uh, other things like this, I don't know what it is. Um, I mean, this one looks pretty cool in a second, I mean, these have changed since last time, I mean, look sharp, wear blue. I mean, select, what I mean, what is this, Viking Burial, you unlock these, 1,500 COD points. Um, and that looked even the price of COD points. I've got 3,000, uh, and that was from the uh, pre-order bonus. Uh, so, I mean, I'll see how much it is, and maybe I'll, I'll obviously, I'll, I obviously will buy these things, but for terms of normal people, then, I mean, look at this, 1,000 COD points, you get a Tiger's Eye, Assault Rifle variant, a Flame uh, thing, and a Flame Charm, and a Lion, basically, sticker, which... Pointless. I mean, what's this? A wolf? I mean, now that that looks pretty cool. I'll be honest. I mean, I wish it was a camo rather than uh, the variant, whatever it is there. I mean, what gun is this? It's the M13. I've not even used the M13. It comes with all these attachments like and stuff, which are going to be awful. Unless you like that. I mean, the bipod. I mean, the uh, four times hybrid scope is just useless in my opinion. Unless you're playing ground war, maybe you can do something with it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and purchase this battle pass anyway. If I can figure out how the hell you do it. Uh, let's just click it here. Uh, come on, come on here. Let me buy this thing. Right, it's not like, I don't know how you buy this. I don't even know how you buy it. How do I buy it? I don't know how you buy it. Franchise store. So these are the COD, COD points prices. Same as Black Ops 4, essentially. But this, this is my problem. Black Ops 4 had the prestiging system and this on top of it for free. Bear that in mind, it was for free. You actually have to pay for it this time and we was, what's annoying is we were told there's going to be more free content in this one. And it doesn't look like that. Yeah, there was loads of things you could buy in Black Ops 4, like uh, supply drops and stuff like that. But, we, I mean, that was optional, you know what I mean? I, I can appreciate that. Um, but this, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not agreeing with it, to be honest. I mean, how the hell do I even buy it? Oh. To square by Battle Pass. Wow, Battle Pass bundle. What's what's this? Uh, get access to all 100 tiers and skip 20 tiers instantly. So I'm probably gonna go for that. Um, 
possibly. Yeah, yeah, forty percent extra value. So we'll purchase that battle pass. There we go. Booyah! Um, don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's gonna be a cutscene. No. I mean, we get all these instantly unlocked, which is awesome. Um, but the way I would uh, rather do it would be to add prestiging back into the game. That is a must. Being reset to rank 55, as you can see there, I, think I didn't even get to match rank, unfortunately. I'll try my hardest because, I mean, it resets in 60 days. Um, so it's not going to take too long to get back to match rank, maybe. I don't know. It seems there's a lot more XP you need to level up uh, this time around, which is uh, surprising. Uh, well, in fact, no, it's not even surprising because you've got longer to level up. But um, I just would like prestige back into the game. And obviously, I know the reason they've done this is so they can add these, the challenges. But for me, if you had prestige in the game, the battle pass, and these, all three of these, it would make the game. There'd be so much things to do in the game. You could grind the prestiges, get max rank, you reach max rank, and obviously, you want to earn the new season emblem type things as you can see in the bottom of the screen I've got none as of yet as you can see um, to earn them uh, you'll be able to earn them when you're max rank or whenever give that something else to do and then you've got the battle pass to grind as well which for me would it has three different grinds you can do there I mean this is season zero I don't know if you can still unlock these or maybe you can I got to rank 148 I didn't know you could actually look at that that's pretty cool actually um, so you can see your progress uh, which is it's, it's, I like that. I, I do like that actually. But um, for me, if all three of them things were in the game, it would be insane. Um, I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's so it's so much frustrating me to be honest. I mean, oh wow, I didn't mean to click this guy. Wow. Okay. But let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. It's just a quick video, just talking about the battle pass and my personal opinion on it. I'm not sure how I'm feeling at the minute. That's for sure. I think if all three of them were added in, I mean, oh, I've got 900 cod points, so let's actually just buy a couple of more of these. How do you actually skip tiers? Buy six tiers. How much is that? 900 cod points. Okay, though. We'll buy 900 more tiers. Um, is what it is. Hopefully, I'll grind out the tiers. I might even buy them all. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if I want to. I just don't think there's that much uh, great content in there. I would like to see how uh, how long it actually takes to progress through the tiers in game hopefully it doesn't take as long as black ops 4 but i mean yet again we do have 60 days to complete this so i can see it uh, taking just as long it's a really cool concept but i'm not agreeing with the fact you have to actually pay to activate this thing uh yeah it's not a lot of money out it was a thousand cod points so if we hop into the store a thousand cod points it's uh, pretty much 10 pounds um english money pounds you know what i mean uh, oh what's that for some £8.60, so yeah, that's the cheapest way of doing it by 10p, uh, 10 pence, so it doesn't make a deal of difference, but um, yeah, so you have to, so it's a tenner, we'll say it's a tenner to uh, £10 to buy this thing, which I don't agree with, that's more expensive than Fortnite, I think, I think Fortnite was like £5, so yeah, I'm not agreeing with it, as of right now, um, it's going to be interesting to see what how it all pans out and uh, what goes on in the next uh, well, I say this is it for 60 days, I guess. It's not going to change for 60 days, I don't presume. I'm really excited about the maps they've added back. I know they've added Crash, and so I've heard they're adding Shipment back as well. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be releasing one of the maps every season. I'm not sure if Shipment has been added. I've not seen anything on Shipment for that matter, so I don't presume it has. But I know it is being added soon. I've got a, a load of uh, XP tokens, so I'll probably just grind these out. Uh, right now, I'll rank up as much as I can and focus on actually completing the um, Battle Pass tiers. Uh, and hopefully we can get somewhere and hopefully I can update you on my updated opinion after actually playing with it for a while but This is just my literal first thoughts. I've literally seen it for the first time and I don't like it whatsoever So let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below uh, But if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more daily Call of Duty content just like this one Probably a lot more interesting than this one to be honest It's just my personal opinion just talking about it uh, right off the bat I know it's late so I'm sorry for that But thank you guys so much for watching I hope to catch you guys in the next one Peace I was fighting some demons, and if you bitch, I'm deep in. I was raising a deep.